Okay. So using the power of Macintosh, I am projecting <laughs> onto the screen and simultaneously streaming it online. So we can continue if you would like to. And uh, well, I gotta just, yes. I gotta just test the thing. So, so can, I, can I feel the changes? Uh huh. We were no. supposed to create it so that we can take the voltage shot and add yeah. yeah. input. Yeah. Input, Wait, um, were we supposed to create it so that it would troll automatically fluctuate the voltage? No, we have not done that. Okay. So we can we can start uh, doing I that. I definitely we can start doing that now. Before didn't we? Uh, that? Wasn't there a? Uh, like, yeah, like, no, like, I just anyway increase your voltage. Yes, you should under your voltage. Okay, you should have a little control here. Okay, this. This one will will it will say what your output voltage is going to be, right? Interesting. Right, and on the back panel here, right, the voltage you set here that we're going to want to feed to our power supply is going to have to go through a formula node because your power supply is um, the voltage that you output output to it, it's going to be different than it actually outputs on the front. So we need to use a formula node. Okay. I'm going to say... This I'm going to view as icon, so that's not so big. I'm going to say view as icon, so that's my DAC assistant. But it's in a little bit more compact form. Okay. So I'm going to drag this over here. Okay. And my voltage in here, I'm going to put into a formula node. So over here, I will go up to programming. So programming structures, and I'll put my formula node in right here. I'm going to hit control B, get rid of that wire. And I'm going to say add input. And then I'll say add um, output. So my my value here is going to be v. This will be v out, and this one will be v in. V in. Okay. Now. I'm going to hook this up over to here. Is there a constant like flux or something? And I need to see what I'm connecting to. Oh. This is the there's an error. Attempting to write the analog data that is too large to or too small to change it. I'm going to connect this to my DAC assistant into data out. Okay. Then I'm going to say create control. So now I have my input variable here, and what's the formula that we need to use in order to do this? So we had, it was the, the voltage coming out of the power supply. The maximum times V output divided by current. So v, v out will equal the maximum, so say that's uh, 10 volts, I'll say 10 times my control current, Vn. Is that right? Yes. Make that bigger. Okay. So um, this is my input variable. Okay. So um, but which one is the value that needs to go to the power supply? So, because um, I have the, the voltage value that I, the user will specify, yeah. So, it should be the other, not the one that you specify, right? So then you're saying this should actually be VN. Because what it displays on the screen. Right. Divided by... 
V out. Oh no, this will be it'll be V out divided by ten. And ten is my max voltage. Um, I don't know if your equation's gonna be the same, but for ours it was the uh, what your what voltage is displayed on the screen. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So wait, what? So ten was what? Um, it's the maximum voltage times what's displayed on the screen. So it, what, what your control voltage is mm -hmm. divided by ten. Oh, no, by one. Yeah. So the input on your is what the computer is telling it now, mm -hmm. and the output is going to be the correct. Well, you know what? I'm not going to worry about this formula node right now. Let's just get the rest of it, and I'll come back later, and I will, I will correct that. Okay? Because we we can make an adjustment once we, um, once we get everything else working. Okay? So right now we're just going to say, give me a voltage to my power supply, and I'm going to measure what the voltage is, but I'm going to step through those values, and then I'll add in the correction later. Okay? Um, so my input variable here, okay, we are going to want to step through our voltages, and so I think you asked me, Rachel, how we do that, and so we are going to use this thing here, this is the terminal loop number, I'm going to move it up here. Is that a DAC assist coming out of your input variable? This one? Yeah. That is a DAC assist. You can change them if you right click and say... Um, view is icon, and it will change it to that. It just makes it easier to to fit in your program, so it takes less space. Okay, so um, on our f let's say let's think about our program for a minute. Let's say we want to um, run the program, and we're going to change the uh, we're going to sweep the voltage on our program. So we're going to have to have a uh, a start voltage and an end voltage, right? So if you say, I want my start voltage to be zero, okay, and I want my final voltage to be three volts, okay, then you're going to need to decide at this point how many steps do you want to have this thing do? Do you want to step in, in steps of 0.1 volts? And so you'll go 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, okay? So you'll need to say, on your the front of your program, I'm going to say, I'm going to go to my numeric panel here, numeric control, I'm going to put this in, so this will be uh, start voltage, then I'll put another one on, I'll pin this here, and I'll say numeric control, this will be my Stop voltage. Then I'm going to want to have a uh, step number. Is that like mode control? Yes. Um, well, I have a question. Yes. I'm trying to find a constant such that my equation, my output equation, like my V, v out that I specified is the same that my um, multimeter would be. Okay. On your in your program or no, it's supposed to be eight volts, and I have it outputting eight millivolts. The eights match. Is that enough? So you told the program to output eight volts, and now you're getting eight millivolts. Yes, and this is this is hooked up directly to my power source. Like this goes to the pop. The red goes to positive, the black comes to negative. And do you have these guys turned up here? Yeah, yeah they, were, they were. It was. It was low. Oh, so did I mess it up? Yeah, because I didn't tell it to be. Sorry. No, but it's like, do I? No, I wasn't. I wasn't thinking that's a conversion. What? Yes. What about the conversion? Did you do it? Did I do it? I'm working on it. Well, he's coming up with the actual one. 
Yeah, so it's really like, and it's at 8.3, and I know, okay, so let's go 5.12, right, and then I click enter. Ah, it was too hard. So, like, I can get it, I can get it to match 8, and, but it says moving bolts. So it actually can do in bolts. So, it can cause bolts. What is your, your C value there? Your constant is 5.1? Right now it is. And oh. what's, where's your Y out? Or is that, that's V out? Okay, so V out is, you're saying that that's 8. Yes. So you have 8. So that's X. So you have well, that's what I wanted. 8 divided by what other constant value? Were? That's the thing that changes it. That's the thing I'm changing it to 0.5. Eight. What's 8 divided by 5.1? Small number. So that's a 1. 3.5. Because you've got. Five makes it to sixteen volts, which would not. Yes. God, it's like the equation in no units. Do I know what wood is? No, it's a conversion equation from the from the power supply. But at the bottom line, it's like seven power supply. So I think it's easier to just do the math. Yeah, I'm. Just, I'm And so your constant is the max value you have set here, right? The cost, the constant, the constant is then my value I'm changing to try to optimize. I think you should be output. You should be changing v out, right? I should be changing v out. Try to match. Well, first to make sure that your power supply actually works the same. So you change the v out and see if yours pulls your circuit reader. Yeah. Do you have the, the manual for the power supply? Pretty sure? I can look. Yeah, let's look at the back. I blame Mark, though. Mark, tell me what it was. I did? Yes, you did, my friend. Yeah, you're just a thingy. What? Did you remove the little dial? Yes, I um, did. I should have removed the dial. So you're supposed to be in series mode, right? Switch yeah. on the back? Yeah, okay. series. Series? Yes, I just like that. I think your formula is, is could have issues. Your power supply. My power supply is on, yes. Um, it's just, I cut from the computer. Do you have the manual? Get the manual. Yes. Let's find the manual, and there's a section about um, how to control it. Stop this.